is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Right, so Eddie Hearn has revealed the percentage splits that he's willing to offer Deontay Wilder should he beat Tyson Fury on December the 1st and how many pay-per-view buys that that particular fight does. Now, this is via the um, Boxing News 24, who, for whatever reason, in this article are real, real haters of Matchroom. But anyway, um, I'm not going to go into everything that they say. They can suck a nut. Now, this is what Eddie Hearn said. If Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder does a million plus buys, we'll give him 50-50. That's probably fair enough. If it does under 300,000, he should probably take 80-20. If it does under 400,000, he might get 70-30. If it does over half a million, we'll give him 60-40. So that is Eddie Hearn's statement. Of course, he did say other things, but uh, this uh, boxing news seemed to have uh, totally messed the whole thing around. So I'm not going to get into everything that it was that uh, Eddie Hearn said. So basically, if it does over 1 million pay-per-view buys, Deontay Wilder will get 50-50. Which is fair enough, right? It's a massive country and Deontay Wilder has been running around saying that this will do 2.5 million pay-per-view buys. Now, if it does, congratulations, that is phenomenal and that is some real, real credit. It really is and quite clear that Joshua is quite popular in America if it does that based on the fact that both Wilder and Fury have been using Joshua's name for the past year. So, anyway, but you know what? Outside of that... 50-50 and he gets, if he gets 1 million or above pay-per-view buys, which isn't too much to ask for really, is it? As I said, considering the size of the country, considering the, the fact that he believes it will make 2.5 million and the fact that um, everyone keeps saying how this is the biggest fight in heavyweight boxing, righty, righty, rah. So therefore, it should be very, very achievable. But if it does anything less than 300,000, then Wilder should get 20% of the split. Again, I think that's reasonable. So everybody who's who's been running around saying this is the biggest fight ever and blah 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 and you know this is real exciting, this is a real legitimate heavyweight fight. Not mentioning the fact that Tyson Fury's been out of the ring for God knows how long, put on how much weight with mental issues, putting what substance in his body and alcohol with a whole UCAD and British Boxing Border Control situation. They don't mention all that because they don't want it to look like Wilder has taken a cherry pick, and that's exactly what he's done, let's be real. So, yeah, I totally agree with this one, to be fair. If it does anything less than 300,000 pay-per-view buys, then 20% goes to Wilder. And I say that because it balances out the books as to what Joshua brings to the attraction compared to clearly what Wilder brings to the attraction. Because when Wilder fought Luis Ortiz, 14,500 people in a 19,000 arena. That is terrible, absolutely terrible. But he's running around saying how he wants 60-40 in his favour. He may accept 50-50 if he's feeling generous. So either he don't want the fight or he's clowning, one of the two. So yeah, there it is. 50-50, if it does over a million. If it does under 300,000, 20%. If it does... Under 400,000, he might get 70-30. If it does over half a million, then 60-40. So there you go. So Wilder needs to really, really promote the hell out of this fight. And all these little fangirls over there need to really, really be pushing for people to buy the pay-per-view. As in, don't encourage people to illegally stream it because we know this is what a lot of these people do. You see, they'll talk about fights and how they want this fight and how this is the greatest fight ever, but yet they won't put their hand in their pocket. In fact, they will illegally stream it. So that is going to hurt the pay-per-view numbers, isn't it? And one good thing about America over there, as far as the boxing events go, is that they always, always show the pay-per-view numbers. For whatever reason here in the UK, they don't ever seem to really want to do that. It takes a long, long time to even get any, any kind of stats from anywhere. I don't know why why that is but anyway i think that's fair enough wilder he seems to think that is 2.5 million pay-per-view buys so 1 million very achievable right so anyway drop your thoughts below about it click that thumbs up and of course subscribe catch you all on the next video